Huntsman, a stalwart individual, a beautifully uh, mustached man. Many would argue that there's not much you can do with Huntsman. I beg to differ, because when Huntsman transforms into his final form, he becomes the motherfucking Bluntsman, bitch! But before we get into that, let's talk about him a little bit. His passive ability, Waste Not, Want Not. Ranged headshots recover one ammunition. His career skill, Hunter's Prowl. Marcus disappears from sight for six seconds. When he attacks or fires a ranged weapon, he gains boosted ranged attack damage, and shooting his ranged weapon does not consume ammunition. He's also got Poacher's Mark. Double effective range for ranged weapons. Pretty cool. Call out weakness, an order that increases critical strike chance by 5%. It's good, but it's tiny. Deep pockets increases ammunition capacity by 50%. Makes sense for a range class, if you ask me. Today, I'm going with Taste of Victory, staggering enemies for GHP, because we're going to be using the uh, Tusk or Spear. Now, this will also work pretty good with weapons like the Bretonian Longsword, or literally any shielded weapon. On his second line down here, one in the eye, increased headshot bonus damage by 50% is going to be very important for hitting headshot breakpoints. This will allow you to one-shot any enemy with a headshot except for Chaos Warriors and Maulers. But with this setup, you will be able to one-shot body shot Maulers. So really the only enemy you won't be able to kill in one shot will be a Chaos Warrior. Sounds pretty good, if you ask me. On his level 15 line, Smiter's really good if you want a melee focus. Bulwark is absolute dog shit. Never use it. Enhanced power is pretty good for a range class. Increases your total power level by 7.5%. I do see that it says 7% there. That is incorrect. It really gives you 7.5. It just doesn't say it. Um, but yeah. Generally, when I play a range class, I go with enhanced power. Even though I really like Smiter, and Smiter's very good. Enhanced power is just kind of more useful because I'm going to be using my range weapon a lot more than I would normally, you know? So I kind of, I, it's just what I like to do with a range class. So yeah, you can run enhanced power. You can definitely run smiter. It'll work good for you, but enhanced power, very helpful with those breakpoints combined with one in the eye and the properties on our weapons. So I would highly suggest it. And on his level 20 line down here, Thrill of the Hunt, range headshots increase reload speed by 20% for 5 seconds, drastically ups the reload speed of the Blunderbuss, which has a very, 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 very slow reload time. Um, so you get 5 seconds of quick reloading, so, you know, if you're kind of in a pinch and you've got some uh, enemies bearing down on you, just get a headshot and... Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, your five seconds of ba bow, ba bow, ba bow, you can just shoot, you know, which is pretty cool. On the level 25 line, I like Shot Crafter. Killing a special restores 10% ammunition, gives you some pretty good uh, sustain on that weapon, allows you to make a lot of ammo back, uh, especially on higher difficulties because there's more specials. You just you just make ammo back like crazy. And, and if you play a range class the way I play a range class, you're going to be shooting more than if if you were playing like a mercenary you know if you play mercenary with a blunderbuss you're probably not going to use the blunderbuss all that much but if you play huntsman with a blunderbuss man i'm barely pulling out my melee weapon i'm shooting all right so give me shot craft i don't need no damage reduction screw that and then down here blend in is just the most useful talent for this setup reduces the cooldown of prowl by 30 percent pretty much makes his cooldown about a minute long uh, which is really good. You can combine that with concoctions. You can get any drink, any potion. You can you can get it back, you know, pretty much instantly. Um, it's just, just really useful. You, know, you don't have to wait like a super freaking long time like you would with concealed strikes or head down hidden. So there is a usefulness there. Talking about the gear, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Tusk or Spear. I like to run stamina and BCR on it. I know it's not red. I'm sorry. I'm just super lazy and haven't changed it. Uh, definitely you want Swift Slaying on that, for sure. Other good weapons include the Bretonian Longsword, the Mason Sword, the Spear and Shield. Um, the Mason Shield's pretty decent. Those would be like the generally considered to be good weapons. 
Um, if you like the axe sword, I guess you could. I wouldn't. The mace, you could. I also wouldn't with this. Because you want something where you can kind of have a little bit of defense, you know? For, for this, personally, I like the Tusk or Spear. Um, so yeah, run extra stamina, run block cost reduction on it. Full defensive mode on here. For the Blunderbuss itself, I run Power for Infantry, Crit Chance, and Scrounger. Scrounger's to help with ammo sustain. Crit Chance helps proc that. Huntsman gets a little bit extra Crit Chance naturally, so Scrounger actually kind of works on him sometimes. Plus, when he ults, that's technically a free crit. Or crits if you can shoot quickly. So that's pretty nice. You get some ammo back that way. The other properties on the charm are Chaos and Skaven to hit those breakpoints. So in total, you're running Enhanced Power, Chaos, Skaven, Infantry, and one in the eye to hit the necessary breakpoints on Cataclysm. For the necklace, again, I run Stamina Block Cost Direction. I like Natural Bond simply because he's going to have 100 health if you run this setup. Barkskin's not really going to do too much for a 100 health character. There's kind of no point, in my opinion. But, of course, you don't have to run that extra two stamina. You can run health. Definitely you can run health. And if you feel more inclined to run like a Barkskin or a Boon of Shalia with extra health, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. This is just kind of what I like to do. Since I'm using the Tuscor Spear, I want as much stamina as I can possibly get. More stamina allows you to have more defense and more offense. It's pretty much the ultimate when it comes to the Tusk Horse Spear because the push attack is just the money move, you know? It's just the temp health maker, it's the horde clearer, it's the, it's the chaos warrior stagger. I mean, it's just really freaking good. So you want as much stamina as you can get, I would think. And this, so that's why I run extra stamina. And I run Natural Bond because 100 health, Bark Skin, 100 health, kind of pointless in my opinion. And that's that. And then for the Trinket, I run uh, on Kata, cooldown reduction, stamina recovery, Tuscular Spear, Huntsman's ult's kind of long, I give it back a little bit. And then Shrapnel, you know, grenades. Uh, if you throw a grenade in an enemy, 20% increased damage they take for 10 seconds, which is pretty nice. Usually just do that for monsters. Um, you can run Grenadier to try and dupe it uh, if you want. Either of those would be fine. So this has been the Huntsman Blunderbuss build, also nicknamed the Bluntsman by people who play more Huntsman than I. The Bluntsman, yes, you want to you want to shoot condensed hordes. You want to uh, you know specials, elites, the things that go bump in the night. You probably won't do it ton of monster damage with this setup, but most enemies, you will, able, you will be able to one or two shot. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys like this build. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video, sub to my channel, leave a comment saying if you like the build or if it's shit or whatever, you know, let me have it or compliment me, you know, that's cool. Till next time, guys.